Hey everybody, great to see you. Alejandro Bernard here, hope you've been well. Today we're going to be talking about the add to arpeggio and how you can apply them in both pop and jazz settings. The Final Fantasy Prelude is a beautiful composition that relies heavily on the add to arpeggio. When I hear this song, it brings back fond memories of playing Final Fantasy VI as a kid. It was the first RPG I had ever played, and it captivated me. The rich story, the quirky characters, the joy of uncovering a secret, and the music make this game a timeless classic for me. And to discover that the prelude actually has great pedagogical value, I feel like this game just keeps on giving. If you enjoyed the arrangement heard in the demonstration, you can find a free copy in the description. For more great educational content, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to support me directly, you can check out my Patreon page. Thanks again, everybody. Let's begin with the lesson. All right, so we're talking about add to arpeggios today. Um, and if you already know a lot about add to arpeggios and you don't need a lesson, there's a sheet in the description that has all the correct fingerings for minor and major add to arpeggios. So you can go ahead and check that out. And what the heck is an add to arpeggio, right? Um, well, it's basically just your major arpeggio where you've added the two, or some people say sus two, or they say add nine. And you can find that by finding your major triad, and then you add the second scale degree. And if you need a simpler explanation, you can just say, okay, it's in between the, you know, the first and the, the second note. And which one is it? It's not that one. <laughs> it's definitely not that one, but it's gonna be the pretty sounding one. And the nine just has this really pretty quality to it, right? You hear it in a lot of pop music, um, contemporary Christian music, you hear it in gospel music, it's just really pretty. So there are two ways that you, we finger it at the keyboard, with one with a legato touch, where you're trying to connect all of your notes, right? And there's no skips or jumping, right? And that really happens here whenever you're transitioning uh, on your turn on unders. So a great way to practice that is to just have your you know, thumb on uh, one of the pivot notes and just kind of practice and get in that place, right? And I have the camera angle so you can kind of see my wrist. My elbows aren't, don't want to pop up. Right? I just want to have kind of a flat wrist, maybe it pivots back and forth a little bit. But the real uh, you know, person that's doing all the heavy lifting is this thumb. It's just going back and forth like that. So that's going to help you get your legato touch by having a, a thumb that goes all the way, touching the pinky nearly. Okay, So that's one touch that you can use. And the other one is a hop technique. And this is, and this is really great at high speeds or uh, maybe if your hands aren't big enough to make that stretch. So you can kind of hop to the next note and there's a little bit of a gap um, but with the pedal you know it's okay and and you're actually going to use this technique at high speeds anyway so it's a good one to know but you also want to be able to do the legato touch if you can okay so maybe you can practice in grips like that right um right and that'll help you get that hop technique down and it's just great ah if i can play clean you know, at, at high speeds, it's going to serve you really, really well. So in a pop context, um, this add to sound is used to just give a little bit more color. So let's take just a, a really normal pop progression, maybe something like. Right, something like that, you know, your six, four, one, five progression, and we're in the key of G major here, slash E minor. So once you start adding your nines in there, it just adds a, a lot more color to it. Three, four. Right, and it just it gives it a little bit more flavor. Um, and so it's, it's a great way to just spice up your pop progressions, right? And again, all you gotta do is find that too and add it on any major or minor chord. So when you're using add twos in jazz, it's not really within the tradition to play just a major triad or minor triad with your add two. Normally there's a seventh in the chord, but what we can do is when we're playing more modern jazz is we can think of this, uh, say C major uh, add two arpeggio as an upper structure. All right, so let's say we have a chord like um, A minor, like uh, or A minor seven I should probably do, right? Right, then these notes are the upper structure. You know, they're the um, seventh, the third, the eleventh, and the fifth. Um, over a different chord, like let's say uh, F minor six nine, you have more juicy flavors there, right? There's the nine, the five, the six, and the major seven. And now we're starting to kind of touch on bitonality a little bit because it's really, you know, in F minor, but but you're actually playing in C major and kind of uh, outlining a different uh, tonic area. 
right? So if it works on F minor six, you know, B flat dominant, it's gonna be really good. Lots of juice there. Uh, 13, nine, uh, third, sharp 11, right? This is a great one, right? And again, even D half diminished is gonna have some good sounds there. Right, we have the um, the 11, the seven, the root, and the nine, right? So um, if you're playing on a C chord, and you play a C um, add to arpeggio, it's gonna be more in a pop style. Uh, but if you play a different chord, like F minor six, uh, and you play your C um, add to arpeggio, then it's gonna be more in that jazz style. You're hitting those upper structure notes. So a fun little jam that you can do with this add to idea is to have an add to grip in your right hand while you change the roots in the left hand. And you might have a, a jam that sounds something like this too. something like that and all I was doing there was like you know C in the bass B flat this walking down bass line A A flat G and C right well thanks so much for tuning in I really appreciate your time I hope you gained something from today's video I love making this stuff so make sure to like and subscribe stick around so you can keep getting more great educational content see you next time everybody